Hello. We are showing this video because you may be eligible to participate in a study by Intermountain Heart Institute called Coronary Calcium, or CORCAL for short. I'm Dr. Muhlstein, the lead investigator for the Intermountain CORCAL study. And I'm Viet Le, a researcher and physician assistant in cardiology at Intermountain. This video and corresponding website has been created to explain important details of our study and to aid you in deciding whether or not to participate. Heart disease is the single largest killer of American males and females. It is estimated that 34% of all heart-related deaths occur in patients with no prior symptoms. In order to help avoid these deadly heart events, we need to identify those at very high risk or who actually already have disease without symptoms and treat them with the most appropriate preventative therapies. Presently, we screen patients for heart disease by assessing risk factors using the American Heart Association's Risk Equation Estimator. Currently, a predicted risk or percentage chance for developing heart disease from plaque buildup in the arteries within the next 10 years is calculated, and treatment recommendations are made based on the predicted risk. Hi, Amy. Hi. I'm Amanda. I'm here to draw blood. The purpose of our study is to learn more about those at risk for heart disease. Specifically, identifying certain patients who show no symptoms of heart disease but are at measurable risk, and then how best to treat them. You've not been contacted for the study because of risk identified in your medical record. You've been contacted because your primary care physician is assisting in our research and is offering participation to his or her patients who may qualify for this study. If you choose to participate, and I hope you will, you will be assigned to one of two study groups. Study group assignment is entirely random, like the flip of a coin. Participants in the first study group may have blood drawn to measure cholesterol using what's called a lipid panel. Participants in the second study group receive the same lipid panel cholesterol test as well as a CT scan of their heart. Depending on test results, both groups will receive recommendations for appropriate treatment that may include, for example, a medication called statin used to lower cholesterol. We'll also provide your primary care physician with any recommendation so that you can make a mutual and best treatment decision together. There is no cost to you for participating in our study. That includes no cost for the CT scan of your heart if you're in the second group, as well as the lipid panel test and reading for both groups. However, any follow-up appointments with your primary care physician or prescriptions that may result from you and your doctor's decision to proceed with recommended treatment, those costs will be the responsibility of you and or your insurance. Participation in this research study is completely voluntary, and whether you decide to participate or not, the normal or usual medical care you receive will not be affected, and you can change your mind about participating at any time. In general, this study has no more than minimal risk. There is only one study required test using a CT coronary artery scan or x-ray imaging of the heart to look for calcium. Go ahead and lay on your back and we'll give you a wedge to go under your This is a common procedure currently used for selected patients in the clinical setting. How's that? The radiation associated with a CT scan is less than that of a mammogram which is, by all standards, minimal. All up and hold nice and still. There are no research-specific medications or other procedures. The purpose of the CT coronary artery scan is to determine whether or not you already have plaque buildup in the coronary arteries of your heart. Because calcium only accumulates in plaque, the more calcium you have indicates more plaque, and therefore a greater risk for future heart attack. If you receive the scan, it will report a coronary calcium score and of course, the higher the score, the greater the risk of heart attack you have. Behavioral risk may include feelings of vulnerability with the discovery of new information about your heart's health. Additionally, there is a risk of research data becoming part of your permanent medical record. We, the CORCAL investigators, feel that identifying already existing plaque in your heart will help us give better recommendations for future treatments. But of course, we don't know that for certain. And that is the purpose of this study. No personal or monetary benefits for participating in this research should be expected. However, if our trial investigators are successful, we're hoping that you'll share in the pleasure of knowing you have helped benefit not just your life, but also the lives of many others. I hope you have found this video informative and useful. We would enjoy having you among the group of patients and researchers who will work together to find a heart health treatment that leads to living the healthiest lives possible. If you wish to join, 
Please advance to the next screen. You will be guided through a series of forms to complete your consent for enrollment in the study. And of course, if you have any questions now or in the future, please contact a member of our study using the information on your screen. Thank you for taking the time to watch this message and please take a moment to think about how your involvement in this study will be a valuable contribution to the betterment of medical care everywhere. Thank you very much.